Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. There's a new Fiend archetype. At least it was revealed... Uh, what is it? Half a day ago. It's already up, so let's try it out. Um, Fiendsmith. I hope I pronounced it wrong right. It's... Um, I, 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 well, short set, I've read the cards, obviously, um, you know, some time ago, and I was like, okay, these seem okay. But uh, through our playtesting, I was like, hmm, these have potential. These really have potential. Because of, of a couple of reasons. The biggest reason being that they get a link one. You know, it's always trouble when, uh, whenever an archetype gets uh, a link one. And it's kind of like a generic link one, because it only needs one light fiend. Which, quite conveniently, you know, Fabled is there, and Magical Musket is there next to the X. And there's more, but these are the most important ones. And uh, one of them being one of the Fabled ones that, well, you know, when it's like discarded special summons itself, it's level one, I think. Um, there are multiple interactions and add-ons with both hybrids. They strengthen each other, and you'll see why. This particular interaction slash combo, this is three cards. You'll see there's multiple variations of this particular end board. Um, here in this particular combo, I'm not um, looking at Nibiru. You know, we don't care about Nibiru, but in later replays, we do always respect Nibiru, especially in this format with Snake Eyes, Fire Kings, and I, I think every deck is main decking three Nibiru. So this deck, like one card, this new Fiend Smith, this this level six, has the capability to pump out uh, the DDD Negator. You know, the monster of uh, summon negation negates Nibiru on summon number five. You'll see within the next couple of moments. So this particular end board for the archetype is not that hard, and it gives you multiple uh, interruptions. So, this level 6 lets it discard itself to search basically any of the archetype spells and traps. Uh, or traps. Uh, the, the archetype gets a, a token summoner, which again, it's basically a Link 1 play. The Link 1 is basically a lone fire for your smith from the deck, which is fantastic again. Plus, it has interactions when it like equips itself, etc. Um, so you can go for the DDD one, negate summons, and you know the uh, uh, magical musket package also comes into play. This one, teched, I think it's fine. You know the fabled one, um, I think just fine as one of uh, you. You can just search it with the one of the other spells from the fiend smith archetype, which searches a light fiend, and that makes it so that your magical musket musket uh, monsters are also searchable. So you can finally search, you know, in a consistent way. Um, you know, your most important magical musket cards, right? So, Caspar, try to get a search, get Ash Blossom. This is fine because, again, there is no interaction. Thing here is you have uh, the DDD one that negates two monster summons, right? Effects. The, um, the fusion makes it so that whenever, when it's like equipped with your links, you can re equip the link one and or two from your graveyard to, for example, any light fiend. Preferably your, um, you know, your big fusion, because your big fusion makes it so that it becomes a what is it, very similar to the level nine red dragon monster. Negates phase up cards, and depending on how many link monsters it has attached, their link rating. So I think this was two. So you, you have up to two phase up uh, negations, which is fantastic. This is not new for Magical Muskets. Um, it's uh, maybe a going second deck, especially. <laughs> oh man! Oh, look at this. Especially with this card. What is it? Into the Vrains? Again, your opponent can cannot respond if Max hits the field and uses its effect. So you can what is it? Search multiple spells or traps and or traps or you know special summon up to that amount of monsters, up to the amount of spells and traps your opponent controls. And I'm a huge fan of this arc. It's kind of like anti-meta-ish. Because you're main decking that, what is it, Needle's Nest? You know which one I mean, the big DD Crow, which is searchable off of Gaspar, which cripples the entire Snake Engine and Fire King Engine as well. And uh, aha, another reason why this archetype is probably going to be broken, again, depending on you know which support we might get our other new archetypes, is, is that the, the link monsters, they uh, they can just be used as link father as well. So you can go for the link 2, which has a built-in polymerization effect by you know using the materials from your graveyard. So free fusion summons, the level 6, re it's basically a free Beatrice, the level 6. The, the archetype has a lot of gimmicks and uh, scary gimmicks like this. Again, always respect Nibiru, got trolled, so, you know, just go for the DD one uh, on summon number 5. Kind of wastes um, my kid brave, but I mean, I think it's okay-ish because I can still have another pop to protect my uh, DDD one, right? Um, 
I do protect Kid Brave potentially for next turn. If it survives, I could, you know, potentially grind back with a big max, right? Potentially searches. And I kind of relying on my uh, DDD one to negate those summons monstrous effects, right? So I still have my one of the other spells. This is a search spell in my hand. So, you know, got trolled, so I'm not able to use it. it. It searches basically any light fiend, but you need to discard the card after that, which is okay. You can search the, the fabled one, discard summon, or search their level six, the fiendsmith one, which is also fine in the graveyard because it can special summon itself for free. And uh, quite conveniently, they also got the new level six fusion, which is again, super easy. Just needs, what is it, two light fiends? It's the bigger fusion that needs the Fiendsmith monster. Uh, so send one back, reborn itself, and this should be more... Yeah, another Genghis. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it's Genghis, right? With the names, I think it's Genghis. Yeah, you know, it's what I mean. Again, this is the one that negates summons. Go for the, the big fusion, re-equip with the link. So now it's a double omni negation. At least once, once per turn, during your opponent's turn as well. So up to two negating phase-up cards. Um, another example, um, the deck is, what is it, 41 cards with three upstarts, obviously because of the magical musket cards, right? Um, ah, oh, this was also cute, like, again, generic, um, uh, I'm not getting hand-trapped, uh, let me think, oh, okay, yeah, 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 Imperm on, um, Starfire, I think the name is, we want to negate it because it can search Gaspar, obviously because of the ups upstart is insane in this deck, we got that back at three, and this is cute, this is one of those decks, if not the first deck that has the capability to play two Link ones and that can upgrade. Well, I mean, okay, no, with the dinosaur, right? Yeah, Al Mirage into, yeah, yeah, you know, the combo. But you know what? Like, this is insane. You can, um, Max doesn't have a Link restriction. You can go for multiple Max in the same turn. If I'm not mistaken, you should, or you should be able. And then Link away Max for the new Link, uh, you know, Fiend Link tribute itself to search Smith from the deck, etc. And that's kind of like an insane interaction because it gives you another Fiend in the graveyard. So really, really cool. Like these cards, um, these are good. These are definitely good. Hardly any restrictions on the Link 1, on the Link 2, free fusion summons for the archetype. It's a, a free rank 6 before your normal summon on summon number 5 to negate Nibiru. That's already scary. Pair that up with potential archetypes we, you know, know, have and know being fabled, which is okayish. Muskets, obviously not, you know, the, the most broken deck. But who knows, as we've seen with Fire and Snake Eyes, like last year, we might get more support or more Fiend-type archetypes, which, um, you know, might make these, uh, or this, this particular archetype kind of OP. And it's kind of scary looking at the spells and the power it has. Link one place, summon negations, plus... Little night interactions, like really, really insane. So again, like feel free to leave, you know, suggestions looking at the deck, thrust, talents, chaos angel for extra deck, cyclones, maybe, maybe I should build a bit more going second, even more going second, but you know, suggestions are definitely welcome. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like. If you enjoyed the video, big signing out. Peace.